بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر کنٹینیوئنگ آر جرنی آف انڈرسٹینڈنگ دا رول آف میڈیا اینڈ اٹس ویریس کانوٹیشن اٹس ویریس ایلیمنٹس ان ریلیشن ٹو کارپریٹ گورننس ٹوڈے وی ہیو اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ ٹاپک اینڈ دیٹ از ایتھکس ان ایڈورٹائزنگ بیکاز ایڈورٹائزنگ از اے ویری بگ انڈسٹری ناؤ ان دا ٹوینٹی فرسٹ سینچری اینڈ وی سی دیٹ ود دی ایڈوینٹ آف سوشل میڈیا اینڈ الیکٹرانک میڈیا اینڈ پرنٹ میڈیا اینڈ ڈیجیٹل میڈیا وٹ وی سی از is that in all of these different medias, uh, advertising is done differently. There are different approaches. And now, uh, after uh, COVID, what we see is that uh, advertising has even gained more impetus because uh, what we have seen is that uh, people have been confined uh, to their homes and uh, therefore uh, their uh, outwardness uh, towards life uh, has been limited. And therefore, these advertising agencies and these different advertisements have a huge impact Uh, on the people uh, because they have more time they're listening to more media and therefore uh, those uh, very structured approaches of influencing through advertisement have a huge impact uh, on uh, individuals and also institutions on the products the institutions are basically uh, giving out to the public and also to the uh, different uh, processes uh, which uh, they are adopting and another thing that we see is also the service industry so all of these Uh, are being affected through advertising and can have a positive or negative implication uh, based upon how that advertising strategy is being implemented or executed. And now a very important uh, element in all of that is the ethical consideration uh, related to advertising. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when we are looking at the ethics of advertising, that advertising is one of the major tools corporates use to direct persuasive communications to target the buyers and the public. They advertise to inform potential buyers of the existence of a product and to establish a positive attitude towards it. So again, this is very important. And what we see is, is that uh, complete uh, perceptions are developed and uh, not only are needs being met, uh, des desires are being converted uh, into needs. And again, through that advertisement, Uh, there is this great sense of competition and this great sense uh, of uh, being deprived of a particular product and they tend to uh, instigate that and embed it within uh, the psychological framework of uh, the human mind and therefore people tend, uh, tend to buy into that product and uh, buy many allied products also uh, as we have seen uh, in uh, for example nowadays we see uh, there are different uh, gaming boxes digital gaming boxes uh, which have immense implications uh, and again Uh, are actually addictive and uh, we also see that with mobile phones uh, and with other digital equipment because uh, all of that is being packaged in such a way uh, that they tend to entice uh, and create that magical aura for the customer and based upon that the customer gets hooked on uh, to the product and also the company just like uh, we we see how apple consumers are hooked on to apple products even though they are extremely expensive but yet those consumers are always going for them and also upgrading themselves Uh, with it. So uh, that is all the power of uh, advertising and seeing how it develops attitudes. According to Aristotle, one of the basic concepts in effective persuasion is to be ethical. So again, this is a very important thing that one should not misguide, one should not sugarcoat and one should not tend to exaggerate their product or their service and therefore the most effective persuasion is uh, ethical because through ethical persuasion, uh, trust is built and based upon that trust, uh, then Uh, the customer becomes a lifelong uh, client uh, of that particular individual of that particular institution or that company and that is extremely important uh, raymond baumhart has quoted uh, this in his book an honest profit uh, what businessmen say about ethics in business so uh, ethical is what my feelings tell me is right ethical means accepted standard norms in terms of your personal and social welfare what you believe is right so Again, Raymond Beaumont uh, simplified everything and it's all about uh, what person thinks is right, uh, what person thinks is needed, uh, what a person thinks is justified uh, as against uh, something which could be wrong or unjustified or a luxury. So again, uh, through advertism, advertisements, we see that companies have a very strong influence uh, upon individuals and those individuals then become uh, lifelong clients of those companies. This is an era of a vigilant and well-informed consumer who wants to know about the product. So again, the ethical advertisement is that uh, whatever are the pros or the cons of the product, they should be mentioned. Now, uh, we, we've seen this in Pakistan in one very important case uh, in, which, uh, uh, in which we used to have uh, polka ice cream and, and then 
uh, it became another ice cream and uh, that ice cream uh, they would always be writing ice cream but it was not cream and therefore uh, then the court ordered them that they could not write uh, ice cream so uh, again uh, that they had to change their complete marketing strategy and they had to change their uh, complete uh, ethical advertising uh, so that they do not misrepresent that particular word uh, and similarly uh, when we are talking about uh, let's say health drinks or organic um, organic food stuff and all of these different type of things then one has to be very careful uh, that uh, all of the uh, all of the elements and all of the characteristics are properly stipulated and there is no um, misdirection or misdemeanor uh, taking place and uh, the consumer is very well informed due to uh, due to uh, mobility due to uh, due to internet availability and everything and they just have to uh, google or uh, do some other search and find out about that particular product and therefore uh, if the advertisement uh, is done in a negative way and is immoral then that would have many implications and consequences for that particular organization this is an era in which corporates will have more lasting relationships with the consumers than just marketing products so uh, again uh, the consumer the citizen uh, or the or the customer uh, wants to have an experience so it's not a one time buy they want to have long term relationships so once that trust is established then that customer comes uh, again and again and becomes a repetitive customer which tends to enhance uh, the revenues of the organization so that is very important that uh, through unethical advertising one does not tend to lose their customers but actually tends to build up their customer base in such a way that they become lifelong uh, customers of the organization a number of humanities and social science scholars view advertising as an intrusive environment and its effects as inescapable and profound so uh, there are many studies which have been conducted and uh, based upon those studies it has been seen that uh, this this advertisement uh, process is now psychological and has many implications uh, both internal and environmental Uh, for individuals and for institutions and uh, the advertisement is being done uh, in such a scientific and psychologically uh, manufactured way that they tend to change the perception uh, of the employee and it's not only it's not only uh, when we are talking about uh, let's say products and services but we are also talking about uh, political uh, perceptions and political parties where nowadays we see that elections are basically swayed through media so all of this uh, is basically emerging and we see uh, that the role of media is gaining profound uh an inescapable uh, impact on institutions and on individuals and that is why it is extremely important that we uh, understand the implications of advertising and ethical advertising so that uh, these negativities uh, can be avoided altogether uh, therefore what we see is that uh, in advertisement it is very important to uh, do away with reinforcement of materialism cynicism irrationality uh, anxiety Uh, sexual preoccupation powerlessness and a loss of self respect it's extremely important uh, that we keep in view the customer uh, and the citizen uh, and the consumer because uh, if we tend to mislead that individual uh, then it has many repercussions and many negative influences uh, which in the long term would be detrimental to the organization also and therefore uh, ethical uh, advertisement is very important so that the consumer the customer uh, and the citizen can take a right choice Uh, and can be well informed rather than misinformed and misled uh, and that is what ethical advertisement is all about and uh, just to sell a product uh, one should not uh, tend to use a poor, a complete uh, psychological process uh, to undermine uh, the very self respect and uh, the very uh, competitiveness of an individual uh, because that is not right and therefore uh, the right way to do it is to be truthful is to be honest is to be upfront and to own the product as it is rather than uh, sugar coating it uh, or poison coating it <laughs> and then uh, uh, selling it uh, with negative consequences that is something which uh, should not be permitted by any of the stakeholders uh, there are various benefits of uh, advertising also information advertising aids in the education of general public as uh, we have seen uh, in the covid pandemic all together uh, values and lifestyles advertising can con- contribute to the improvement in the standard of living because uh, on one hand Uh, excess of anything is bad but it does create competitiveness it does create awareness and due to that what happens is is that the individual uh, can improve their own lifestyle and then it is also creative experience uh, advertising adds new and interesting experiences to life because it's a creative process it's full of colors it's full of design uh, it's it's full of uh, it's sort of full of graphics it's full of uh, videographs it's full of pictures uh, well yes it 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 has 
uh, many benefits also. So, again, it depends upon the organization, the management and the board of directors of the organization that do they want to uh, have the ethical context or the unethical context. Uh, what are the objectives? What are the results? And how advertisement, uh, advertising uh, can be channelized in a positive way to add value to the organization, to the stakeholders, to the shareholders and most importantly to the consumers and to the customers. Thank you so much.